Welcome to JA Finance Park Teacher Training. This training will focus on the traditional version of the curriculum, and you should follow up with a second video that covers either the on-site or virtual simulation. Let's get started. Junior Achievement is a nonprofit organization whose mission is to inspire and prepare young people to succeed in a global economy. We do so through fun and engaging curriculum in the areas of financial literacy, workforce readiness, and entrepreneurship. One of the key components of JA programming is the partnership between schools and JA volunteers who deliver many of the JA programs. The JA of Middle Tennessee office, based in Nashville, is one of over 100 area offices throughout the country and serves 22 counties across the volunteer state. In addition to JA's K-12 traditional or classroom programs, Junior Achievement offers capstone programs. These programs involve classroom curriculum, typically of a longer length, and an experiential learning simulation for students to apply the knowledge they've learned in the classroom. JA of Middle Tennessee offers three capstone programs, JA BizTown, JA STEM Summit, and JA Finance Park. Within the JA Finance Park program, there are three curriculum options, traditional, project-based learning, and a student self-guided version. This training will cover the traditional curriculum. We know educators have a lot on their plates. Our goal is to make teaching the JA Finance Park curriculum as simple as possible. So by the end of this training, you'll understand the purpose of JA Finance Park, how to effectively use the curriculum, understand the teacher responsibilities for a successful student simulation experience, both before, during, and after the student's visit, and the basic operation of the simulation. As we begin, please write down any questions you have regarding the information covered in this training there will be time to address those questions later on during the session. Each component of the program helps you as the teacher to lead your students through the JA Finance Park curriculum to help them gain a better understanding of how to plan for financial success. Once teacher training is completed, classroom instruction begins. There are 12 core lessons to be completed prior to the student's simulation. Volunteers are a very important component of all JA programs. The primary way volunteers are used within the JA Finance Park program is through the on-site simulation. On average, 15 adult volunteers are needed to facilitate an in-person simulation. Local volunteers have also created a library of short videos to accompany the JA Finance Park lessons. Use of these video resources is optional for schools participating in an on-site simulation. For schools using the virtual simulation, Volunteer video integration is expected with each of the lessons. When it comes time for the simulation, whether on-site or virtual, students will use knowledge and skills from the classroom instruction to participate in the budget simulation and get a small glimpse into adulthood. We'll discuss more details about the simulation later in the training. Finally, following the simulation, there is one required debrief lesson, which we'll also review later in the training. We hope that you'll find the JA Finance Park curriculum to be easy to implement. We recommend reading through each lesson before you teach it, locating necessary materials that may be needed to assist with the lesson, though preparation time is minimal. The content is aligned to meet many of Tennessee's state standards, and the lessons provide flexibility as educators can choose which extension activities to adopt for deeper dives they may wish to take into the core lessons. There is a great deal of flexibility in how the JA Finance Park curriculum can be taught. For example, some schools may teach one or two lessons per week over several weeks leading up to the simulation, where others teach the curriculum cross-curricularly over several subject areas in order to deliver the lessons in a shorter period of time. A lot at least 12 traditional 50-minute class sessions for instruction prior to the simulation and one debrief session after the simulation. Every school is different. We are more than happy to work with you and your team to strategize the best ways to deliver the curriculum at your school. Student goals for the program include developing and following a monthly budget, researching and understanding cost of living that comes with adulthood, developing and demonstrating personal responsibility for learning, self-management, and decisions about their careers and finances, and thinking creatively, analyzing tasks, and solving problems. Now let's review the specific materials educators will receive as part of the JA Finance Park program. 
teachers have the options to receive hard copies of the following resources, and all teachers will have access to electronic versions of the curriculum materials. The teacher guide is a non-consumable resource and should remain with the school if or when staffing changes occur. When updates are made to the program, the JA Finance Park Manager will supply the school with replacement pages for those small minor changes that may occur from one year to the next. Student workbooks are a consumable resource and are replaced each year a school participates in JA Finance Park. Again, both of these are available in hard copy as well as electronic PDFs. Posters and game sets are included with the teacher guide and are non-consumable and expected to be used for multiple years. It's recommended, if possible, that educators laminate these items for extended use. Finally, PowerPoint slides related to lessons are also available, and the accessibility to these resources will be addressed later in the training. The hard copy of the teacher guide contains several curriculum tabs listed here. Regardless of whether you're teaching the traditional or the project-based learning curriculum, both are included in the guide. You can see the four primary themes or units listed here in green, Income, Saving, Investing, and Risk Management, Debit and Credit, and Budget Plus, which we'll address in just a moment. As previously mentioned, there are 12 required lessons students need to complete prior to the simulation. For the traditional curriculum, these are broken down as follows. Three lessons for income, two for saving, investing, and risk management, four lessons in the debit and credit unit, three for budget plus, and one debriefing lesson after the simulation. Within each theme, there are several optional extension activities to choose from. Let's talk about the format and features of each JA Finance Park unit and lesson before we explore the content of the lessons further. For each unit or theme, a symbol is used. For example here, in the income unit, it's the dollar bill. The table of contents lists the core or required lessons. Below that are the numbered list of extension activities associated with this unit. Again, the extension activities are optional add-ons that we'll address in a moment. In addition to the symbol used for each unit, the pages have a color-coded border to help you identify the overall unit or theme. Income is red, saving, investing, and risk management is blue, debit and credit is orange, and budget plus is green. As you can see in the unit overview, it lists the objectives, concepts, and skills covered within this unit. Each lesson provides a time expectation. Depending on the educator's teaching style, this could be drawn out with more class discussion. Teachers will have to determine what works best for them and their students. Lessons can and have been completed in the timeline stated for each and are modeled around a traditional 50-minute class period. For schools with a block schedule, this may mean splitting lessons over multiple class periods in order to fit in one and a half lessons per class period. If the time period you have is shorter, it may mean dividing some things up for a flipped classroom, online engagement, or continuing a lesson on another day. Each lesson includes a materials list. Note that there are PowerPoint slides listed. Those are available for download from JA Connect, the learning platform, which we'll talk about toward the end of the training. Vocabulary words included in each lesson are highlighted in the same color box, that blue-gray color on the right side, throughout the teacher guide. You'll also notice thumbnails showing the student workbook pages associated with each lesson that are provided in the preparation section to assist teachers in identifying the pages the students will be utilizing. Overall time for the lesson is further broken down for the different parts of a lesson. A time guideline is provided for lesson steps, summary and review, and setting the stage components of each lesson. These are subject to the teacher's delivery style and amount of discussion, but are helpful guidelines as teachers plan for delivery. Throughout the lesson, when the discussion or lesson steps have an associated PowerPoint slide, a thumbnail image of that slide is inserted for teacher reference. Some lessons will include an online option. Options may be substituted for the activity detailed within the lesson. Some of the digging deeper activities in the green boxes are offered periodically throughout the teacher guide. These are always optional activities and provide a writing, debate, or reading activity that relates to the content and could be utilized as assignments for outside of JA Finance Park class time. Please remember that homework assignments do not count as instructional hours tracked for program purposes. 
though aspects of the curriculum can certainly be assigned as homework. With each unit of study, there are between three and eight extension activities available. Time requirements for each extension activity vary. Some are as short as 15 minutes, while others require up to an hour. These are optional and can be used at the teacher's discretion. Some may be more appropriate for middle school, while others for high school. For instance, the extension activity related to the FAFSA, the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, is valuable to high school students, but may not yet be relevant to middle schoolers. The student workbook is used in the traditional delivery of the JA Finance Park program. Pages are printed in color and perforated for easy tear out. If you decide to forego hard copies, the student workbook pages are also available as fillable PDFs for educators to post in their school's learning management systems. Included in the workbook is vocabulary associated with each lesson, space for note-taking on several pages so students can record information from class discussion or questions that they may have, background information about some of the topics which closely mirrors elements that are referenced in the teacher guide, and opportunities for skill practice. Let's take a closer look at the four main units or themes within the JA Finance Park curriculum. The income unit introduces students to the concept of making money and allows them to take a look at potential careers their future source of income, the paths to enter those careers, and the taxes related to their income. Following a video introduction, students will complete the pre-program survey. This is a SurveyMonkey link found in the Teacher Checklist PDF. There are three core lessons about planning your future, careers, and taxes as it relates to students' individual income, along with eight extension activities that can be integrated as educators see fit for their students and grade levels. The new JA Digital Career Book is now also incorporated directly into the JA Finance Park lessons for the income unit. Additional time can be spent in the JA Connect Learning Pathways where the Digital Career Book is housed and new resources are available there for extensions, homework, or out-of-class activities. In the Saving, Investing, and Risk Management unit, students will explore and compare saving and investment options, examine risk, and get an introduction into how insurance helps protect their savings. The two lessons in this unit touch on these topics at a high level. You'll see in the lessons that the extension activities associated with this unit are referenced as a way to extend learning and give students additional practice and experience with that subtopic. Students are likely to have a number of questions for this particular unit, so the teacher may want to plan on spending additional class time as needed. In the debit and credit unit, Students compare financial institutions and their services. They weigh the advantages and disadvantages of debit and credit cards, examine the role of credit scores and credit reporting in personal finance, and learn how to make wise decisions before it's too late after some bad credit decisions that may affect their score for years to come. In the Budget Plus unit, students begin to make the connection between personal financial success and the use of a personal budget or spending plan including the need to pay yourself first and develop the habit of saving to reach their goals. After completing the 12 core lessons, students will participate in the JA Finance Park simulation. If completing the on-site simulation, students will visit JA of Middle Tennessee's JA Finance Park presented by the Truist Foundation for their capstone experience. If completing the virtual simulation, Students will be able to participate from their classrooms or homes, depending on the teacher's discretion. We'll discuss more details about the logistics and flow of both simulation options in a separate training video. The debriefing lesson after the simulation provides an opportunity to reflect on the student's experience and think about the planning that they can do now to help assure their future goals become reality. Individual student reports will be available following the simulation Teachers may find them to be a helpful review tool, and others choose to make them a larger project or assessment grade. The lesson itself focuses on class discussion of the student's experience and includes a brief journaling activity. During this lesson, the post-program survey is also taken by the students, assuming the pre-survey was given prior to the start of the curriculum. At the very back of the hard copy of the teacher guide is a resources tab that contains information specific to the on-site simulation visit, including a sample simulation schedule, parent and guardian forms, 
simulation visit checklist, some frequently asked questions, and directions and map to the JA Finance Park facility. If a teacher decides to forego the hard copy and use only electronic copies, these will be emailed to the teacher or given out at the end of training so that teachers still have access to pertinent information relevant to our local simulation. Regardless of whether teachers choose to use a hard copy of the teacher guide or the electronic version, everyone will receive a copy of the teacher checklist following the training. This PDF is helpful for printing for those that prefer to check things off by hand, but does contain live links to important websites and should be kept in electronic form in a file or desktop where it's easily accessible. Websites include the JA website, pre and post program surveys, the JA of Middle Tennessee YouTube channel with playlists to volunteer videos, program verification and educator surveys that are completed at the end of the program. Teachers will also gain access to the JA Connect learning platform, learn.ja.org. It's here that teachers will be able to access electronic versions of the teacher guide, PowerPoints, fillable PDFs of the student workbook, and some of the videos used directly within the JA Finance Park program. Access for the JA Connect Learning Platform uses the teacher's email address of record. Passwords may need to be reset if the teacher has not logged in recently or is a first-time user. If you have any questions from the training, please submit them in the chat box before we move on to the simulation portion of the training. If you have any questions about the JA Finance Park program, curriculum, simulation, or other logistical details, please don't hesitate to reach out to the JA of Middle Tennessee staff for assistance.